Today, after a quick unboxing, we're going to assemble the V-More Bench Grinder. Well, we have instructions and destructions for our constructions. We have view guards, brackets, brackets, hardware, a dip tray, and some batteries. And guess what? The old fancy bench grinder. Variable speed. Yeah. Let's see how strong I am today. Not very. There we go. It's got some, some mass to it there. I'll give Shopcat his new box. Oh, got a new desiccant thing. That'll be good for one of these drawers here. Keep the moisture out of the drawers. Don't eat them things. It's not recommended. Shiny, get that. Okay, there's gonna be a left and a right for these, so I'm gonna put them in the correct order. On these brackets, it may seem a little counterintuitive, but this ridge here, this protrusion, goes to the inside not to the outside like that and when you undo this nut right here this slot right here goes underneath the nut onto the bolt because there's a protrusion down here for this slot right here there are two washers behind this this nut here now I'm gonna to want to put about there's a notch right here makes it really easy to figure out which way this goes and which side that goes on so it's almost dummy proof, but I'm going to want about an eighth of an inch of clearance between this and the wheel. I will come back and do that once I get everything together. This has a little relief right here you push down and then you've got access to the battery tray. Two stops there, right there. This has a little relief right here. Press down and pull and it comes right out. I will end up replacing these later with
to see if she'll make sparklies. Speed here. And that sounds like she just hit, hit full speed. She's been wound up. Oh, we got sparklies! We got sparkles! Woo! <laughs> Let's turn her all the way up. Now, I'm most impressed with the fact it's not trying to walk around the table. Look how smooth that is. That is way smoother than my other grinders. I mean, it's just as smooth as can be. It's not that loud either. All right, see if we can change it. Oh, you can vary the speed while it's running. <laughs> That's something. Okay, and right here, I just turned it off to see how long it takes to wind down. Going. I wanted you to see right here, it has this thing you can pull out of the trigger, right here. It says remove to lock. And with this out of the switch, then it can't be turned on. So look at that. It doesn't work. So a little safety feature, if you have people running around you don't want using your grinder or grinding themselves, it, you can pull that out, make it dummy proof. Has this tray so you can put some water or oil in there and you can dip things in it while you're grinding because of course they're going to get hot when you're grinding. And one thing I really like about this is instead of my other grinder's got that big light comes over and points down and you move it around, these lights right here or LED and they're right there and you click on click on you can move them a little bit to where they're but they're always pointed right here at the workstation and right here at the workstation now they do have batteries I'm a little ambiguous about that but the rechargeable batteries are really cheap now on Amazon and I've been buying so many AA and AAA rechargeable batteries that I've got plenty and I'm really glad that it did not come with some kind of proprietary fancy battery that you have to buy from V-Board. That didn't happen. They met, they put regular AAA batteries in there that you can get from anybody anywhere. Big plus. I really like that. So that is the V-Board Variable Speed Bench Grinder. Hey, if you like this video, we got a whole lot more. We've got tool reviews, we've got repair videos, we've got show car videos, hot rods, mod rods, you name it. If it's got wheels on it and an engine, it's probably on this channel. So subscribe, like, and binge watch Saint Auto.